I'm in a mood to paint today. I've watched a couple of videos lately of people with their brand new sets of Sennelier watercolour paints and it just made me feel like I needed to get mine out and do something with them. So I'm going to link down the other two videos which inspired this, one by Alexis Cassandra Art and the other by Miranda Watson of Alkali Creek Art. They both had brand new sets, not quite as many as I have, which is the 100 tube set, because I am a little bit loopy like that. But nonetheless, that is what I'm going to use today. Not all of the colours though, I am actually just going to do quite a limited palette from this particular box. So I've got my paint brushes here, a selection of various sizes, I've got Princeton Neptunes and some of the silver black velvet brushes. So I'll be using those and a couple of other random ones. And I've got my Sennelier paints in the cool colors as we see here i also have a second palette with all of the reds and warm colors but i'm just going to be using probably the top row today i'm going mostly the purples and violets i've got my palette stack here which i'm just going to use to mix up colors because i probably want to do a fairly large wash on some of it and i really want to try out this montmartre watercolor paper block that i got recently as you can see it is a bit dinged on the corner i got this for a very discounted price and hopefully it's not going to cause too much issue. And today's picture is pansies and violas. I saw it on Pixabay and I just thought it was really pretty. Pansies and violas are my favorite flowers. Actually, now I think about it, pansies also have yellow bits in the center, so I will use my second palette, which is all of these ones, and I'll probably pull out a couple of yellows from there. So I guess I'm using palettes one and two today. So that is what I'm going to do today. I cannot wait, I just need to do some painting. So let's get into it. So I started off as I usually do by painting a very light base coat over the whole thing and then I like to build up colours. The Sennelier paints are so wonderful for layering and they really do come alive. When they're layered, I used Blue Violet, Cerulean Blue, Prussian Blue, Dioxazine Purple, Helios Purple, Permanent Magenta, Cobalt Violet Light Hue, Cobalt Violet Deep Hue, Cadmium Yellow Deep for the little central parts, and a mix of Payne's Grey and Ivory Black for the dark areas on the flowers. I had a really good time painting this. It was a lot of purple to begin with and you can see I'm mixing in a bit of cerulean blue there just to give it a bit of depth and interest. A lot of the flowers were pale but there are some darker ones in there which I will get to in a while and I just really enjoyed this almost monochromatic piece. It was really fun using my Sennelier paints again and I was once again reminded as to why they are my favourite paints. I just fall in love with them every time I use them. It's not to say there are other brands out there that I don't also love because I've used the M. Grahams lately and they've been fantastic. The Coors, Daniel Smith, Schmincker, I mean the list is endless but there is just something about the Sennelier paints that I totally adore and they have this luminosity to them that I find is unmatched in other paint brands. There are other paint brands out there, for example the M. Grahams, which are far more saturated. And yes, a lot of the Sennelier colours are saturated too, especially this Helios Purple, which I think of all of the colours in the Sennelier range is my absolute favourite. It is so pretty, I just love it so much. But a lot of the colours, like the Blue Violet for example, are a lot more delicate and they just seem to layer so well. And the, once you start to layer the paints, you see just how quickly they build up into this absolutely beautifully saturated but luminous and transparent wonderfulness. <laughs> and honestly, just no other paint just quite compares to them. So yes, these will remain as my number one most favourite watercolour paints. I know other people have differing opinions to me, this is just how I feel and they make me so happy to use them every single time. And I'm also really happy I have all 98 colours because I do use them all and it's nice to be able to have choices, especially for something like this when I want lots of different purples and pinks. It took me roughly five hours to paint this whole picture, condensed down into I think it's about seven minutes or so, <laughs> but I was just feeling really tired and I needed some time to create a painting and I feel so much more energized and better for it. 
there's nothing like painting a picture and seeing beautiful colours appear out of the white paper. Makes me so happy. Here it is, the scanners made it a bit oversaturated, but I really enjoyed this, I'm super happy with how it came out. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all again in my next video, swatch you later!